I have a 2008 Ford Fiesta, this is the older model, and it's a 1.25 R1.4 um, petrol ZTEC engine is in there. Maybe I should have shown the top of it. Um, quite easy. One second, hang on. I'll grab this and just show you what the engine looks like. Um, just so people will know, there is our Duratec 1. Point, as I said, 2, 5, or maybe Ford Fiesta. Um, similarities. What's happening to this thing? I was called to it, and when I got called to it, girl was driving up the road, and bang, she heard a bang. And what the bang was, that this thing started leaking oil heavily out around the oil filter. And what had happened is it blew the oil seal out from, we can see it, up and in around there. Blew the oil seal out of the bang, and then it started pumping oil out on the ground. Now, I went along, and someone before me had changed the oil filter in it. Just thinking it was the oil filter was the problem, but it's not. He put on the other oil filter, and when he put it on, he heard a big bang again, and the bang blew the oil seal out of the new oil filter. Once again, it's actually 1.25, I can see it there. Um, now, I looked this morning on YouTube, trying to see something, but I couldn't see anything on it. I was looking for, why would this thing have big oil pressure? Why would I be stuck with big oil pressure? And what I'm, I done was I had a little fast look on any format I could find was Google it, uh, YouTube, any of these things. And what I was looking and I saw the oil pump is not in the sump. So I didn't want to take the sump off it. Why would I take the sump off it? The oil pump is actually bolted on up by the side in behind the alternator belt and in behind the timing belt. Okay, now I didn't do any stripping. I have nothing off it. I have no plastics, any of that crack taken off. There's the wing liner, there's a bit of plastic covering the alternator belt. I have nothing taken off it, but what I did notice is there's a little Allen key bolt. There's actually two of them. There's one, I can see, can I? There's one actually sits, it is quite hard to see, in there, again, in there, just underneath my finger, up there. There's one Allen, Allen key bolt up there, hard to get at, in behind the power steering pump, so I didn't go looking there. Came down here and looked in here, and lo and behold, there is a little Allen key bolt in there as well. It's gone out of it at this point in time. What I've done, I have this, I think to catch my eye, I've disassembled, um, this Allen key bolt that I've taken out of it, quite simple, a little six Allen key head. But when I took it out, I said, ooh, now this is what I have. I'm trying to get you a bit of brightness. This is what I, I have found, that there's bits of springs in there broken, and then this little sleeve came out. This is the top of it, so that goes into the oil pump first, and then a spring that's broken goes into it. Now, Went out and I looked at a Nissan, found an engine outside, and I have a, a 1.5 petrol engine outside. And I can see that this spring is a slight little bit heavier than what I have, but it's fitting in here. Maybe it's a bit longer, I don't know. I'm going to try and see if I have to cut this thing a little bit. Now, this is only me out of a 1.5 Nissan Almera. Um, thing looking for a spring similar. I have a box of springs, but they're all kind of quite light, and I don't really like putting in something that's really, really dainty. So I'm gonna cut this down, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna see what happens with my oil pressure. If this thing starts and run, runs and that oil filter that's living up there stays intact without busting the seal, this is the thing. So that's an overpressure relief valve that's in there. Don't really know the workings of it. I don't know the design factors of the pump, but if it fixes it, well, whippy do, it might help someone else. Ford Fiesta 1.25 Z-Tech, but oil, pre oil pressure too high. Not too low, and usually never saw it before. Made 25 or 30 years of this game, alright? I'll follow up in a second with uh, how it works. Just to finalize and show Ford Fiesta, any of that's been reassembled, put back in the spring, put in the bolt. Eye light goes out, car starts. I've been underneath, have no eye leaks. Um, nothing too fancy or too exciting 
but could be a big time saver for someone. That's what I look on YouTube for, is, is stuff that's gonna save me time. I'm a big man for finding any angle to try and save time and, and get a, a an answer fast. So I'm hoping that what we can do here is save someone time on the 1.25 or the 1.4 ZTEC or Duratec engine. Um, little bolt, simple, easy to get at, no stripping, spring inside broken. I'll tell you what's happening is the little plunger is coming back leaving an oil way open for oil pressure to get or increase to a point that it's going to be too high and it blows that um, seal out there rather than damage bearings or any of that which you can't because they're all steel softest point is going to be the oil seal so I'd be saying that what it needed to be doing was the spring held that little plunger up with, which blocked the pathway of oil getting too high so I, I'd be saying yeah anyway it's done no bang no bang straight away it's perfect Carol 100% right, thanks. Um, wait, Fiesta ZTEC.